two, one, two, three, four. Those vegan guys. I thank you. Hi there, I'm Paul. I'm Jason. And together we are Those, Those Vegan, vegan guys. guys. Look, we're dead excited. Today we're doing an Easter egg taste test. I don't know whether I'm excited or nervous that I might be ill after all well, this. Well, yeah, we've got coffee on the go. Got a big mug of coffee each. I haven't even had a sip of this yet, actually. It's nice. And we're going to basically just Beautiful. go through... Some of the vegan options for those of you this Easter. Why, um, why are we doing this? Well, I think... Is it because we're nice? It's because we're good people. <laughs> <laughs> we're good people and we wouldn't want you, our wonderful viewers, to go out there and waste your money unnecessarily on something you might not like. It's also worth preferencing. Uh, preferencing? Prefacing? Yeah. When you want to say something before something happens. That um, we haven't got anything from the Moo uh, range here. Now, myself and Paul, we're not massive fans of the Moo chocolate. No, we've gone for a specific price range. We've gone for the five to six pound Easter egg. Um, although there are a lot more options. I mean, if you go in Sainsbury's, it, it's also worth mentioning, uh, mentioning Sainsbury's. Tesco's Easter eggs are uh, with all the other Easter eggs, at least in our local store. Aldi's Easter egg is with all the other Easter eggs. Sainsbury's was on the free from aisle, not with the other Easter eggs, but there were other Easter eggs there on the free from aisle. There was like, I think there was a strawberry chocolate one, which made me grimace a bit, but kids might love that. Mm -hmm. um, and so yeah, there are some vegan Easter eggs available like Jason said, the Moo Free range, which a lot of people love, but we're not keen on personally. But we were never big milk chocolate lovers. True. Really, were we? The Moo range is in a very good price range, normally around £3.50 for yeah. an Easter egg. One other thing I will point out, um, in case I forget, as we start to dive into the chocolate, this is, by the way, one of my favourite taste tests that we've ever done. I'm really excited about this. I have a bit of a sweet tooth. Um, what I will mention is, we're being victimised, us vegans. And I mentioned this to you the other day, do you remember? I don't. We're being victimised. When I grew up as a kid, the excitement of getting an Easter egg, it wasn't just about the Easter egg. It was what was inside the Easter egg ah. or, or the, what came with the Easter egg. And I'm noticing pretty consistently that us vegans, we don't get things in our Easter eggs. Now, hang on, you're jumping the gun here because three of these very Easter eggs in front of us have additional things. The only one... In this in this range, yes, is this Sainsbury's one? And that one doesn't have anything. Well, I did with it. Yeah, it's just, it's just an egg. You're right. I did jump the gun the other day, and I'm pleasantly surprised. But of course, the true test is, is to come. The, is the taste, isn't it? Right. I'm going to just move all these slightly forward mm -hmm. so that we can start with this one. Now, this one is the Tesco's finest salted caramel flavour. Tesco's finest salted caramel flavour. Um, do you want to do the weights and measures, Jason? Because you're quite into that, aren't you? I will just give you a little bit of a flavour. It's caramel flavour, milk-free egg made with cocoa, rice syrup and rice flour with sea salt and crisp rice pieces, accompanied by raspberry-flavoured fondant filled milk-free white chocolate-flavoured truffles and caramel-flavoured fondant filled milk-free chocolate flavour truffles. That sounds wonderful. Yes. So I'm not going to go into all of the ingredients and the measurements and everything. I'll just, you know. Let's do it. Mm. So the unboxing, lovely, comes in a nice... Um, see, this is the only thing about stuff like this. There's a lot of waste, a packaging waste, mm. you know. Um, Although it's better than it used to be, to be fair. So... Yeah, good sturdy stand. Now, yay! We've always said that they can you see that? So that's a nice egg and five oh truffles. What do you want to do first? Do you want to try a truffle? What are they? 
The yeah. truffles. Yeah. The truffles are. Uh, I think there's a couple of different ones. Uh, raspberry flavored truffles, white chocolate flavored truffles, and caramel flavored fondant filled truffles. Okay. So is there an odd number? Five. Well, them two seem to be the same. Them two are the same. That seems to be the odd one out. But let uh, should we? Shall we? Do you want to? Do you want to do the crack test of the egg? Because that's always very important, isn't it? Uh, uh, you know, that's something that we all have as a really fond memory of being kids. You know, before our uh, conscience about animal agriculture like kicked in, <laughs> and our parents bought us Easter eggs. That crack. The crack. The Easter egg. And of course, the depth of the chocolate in, a, in an Easter egg is very, very important because it's that that gives you the crack. And it's. I've always thought Easter egg chocolate has a very distinctive flavour. I was going to say this. Isn't there something about chocolate being tasting a little bit unique? Is it something to do with the, the fact that it's an egg shape? Is it the shape or is it the, is it the thin? Is it the, the depth of chocolate? Or is it just our imagination? Just my imagination. So, yeah. What I'd normally do is I'd drop the egg because mm -hmm. I'm a kid. Um, but we, but I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to gently tap it with my knuckle and hopefully you'll be able to see. Okay. Oh. No, that was the plastic. Ah, it's in two halves. Yeah, but it's still sealed, doesn't it? So I'm going to just do that. Oh, that's a good crack, actually. Mm. So then you can just... Well, you could just go for the bits that you've already cracked off inside. You don't have to rip another bit off. Okay. Oh, now, that smells gorgeous. Yeah. That smells gorgeous. It smells very, very milk chocolate, doesn't it? Melt factor. Dives right in me. Oh. Mm. Bro, now that's nice. Mm. It's very sweet. Little, um, what are the crunchy bits in there? Mm. Little granular mm. pieces. Mm. It's the salted. It's the salt. Oh. Of course. And yeah, I'm not picking that up in taste. Let me have another bit. It's very sweet. I'm, I'm not picking the salt up at all. I'm trying to shock it. Suck and see, baby. Hmm. It's good. Oh, no, no. Now then. When you let it rest on your tongue, uh, it's got a lovely mouthfeel. Mm. It's got a really lovely mouthfeel. Yeah, tasty. It's worth mentioning as well, the, uh, the Tesco Easter eggs, both of them, uh, five pounds uh, allegedly reduced. Well, I took a picture actually, so I'll pop a picture in here. Um, down from six fifty to five pounds. Now, when you let it melt on your tongue, you get that salt flavour through because the salt crystals are getting time to dissolve. They're quite hardy salt crystals. Yeah, that's a fair point. Beautiful, really nice. Mm. Should we share that? Yeah. Hopefully that's the raspberry one. Or is that the caramel one? It's a caramel one. Yeah. Or nice. I'm saving them two then for later. Just a really nice chocolate. Lovely texture. Mmm. And now I've come away from the Easter egg and gone onto the, the truffle. And now I'm like, oh yeah, I can tell. This definitely hasn't got salt in it. Mm -hmm. Which sounds like a ridiculous thing to say, but... I was struggling to get the salt coming through on this, but I think it was probably just because I was eating it too quick. And also because we have quite a bit of salt. Yeah, true. Little dark chocolate nips. Fell off it. So, that is Easter egg number one. What do we think? Uh, that's a four thumbs up for me. Yeah. Fabulous. Four thumbs up for me as well. Well done, Tesco. Oh, I've still got salt and chocolate. Mm, yum, yum. Numskies, numskies. Ah, oh, this is great. Let's do more sweet taste tests. Oh, now we need a brew.
Mm. Ah, let us know down there, by the way. Um, uh, I've recently fallen in love with uh, a YouTuber. <laughs> I do this quite a lot. Called Emmy Made in Japan. She's fabulous. She's not a vegan, but she's got a brilliant vegan playlist uh, of taste tests she's done and a uh, great video on how to make tofu. Um, and uh, why was I mentioning her? Like you said, let us know. That's what it is. It's the, it's the Samyang noodles. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently, uh, m most of the Samyang noodle range, two times hot, four times hot, so on and so forth, are suitable for vegans. And we've talked about doing a chilli kind of eating test, haven't we? Should we get some Sam Samyang really hot noodles and uh, challenge ourselves to eat a full bowl each with no drink? Inspired by an image in Japan. That's the yeah. Let us know down there. That's the thing. We we are YouTubers and we watch and appreciate and love other, other YouTubers. fellow YouTubers. And an image in Japan is fabulous. Yeah. But one of many that 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 we watch and definitely and uh, and really enjoy. That Easter egg is fabulous. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to round two. Right, round two of four. <laughs> uh, next, we're going to try what's uh, in this, is that one, which is in this particular selection that we've got today to taste test. The most expensive, it was £6 from Sainsbury's on the free from aisle, and it doesn't have anything with it, um, whereas all the others do. So this is going to have to be pretty special. Mm. Yes. Unboxing. I suppose the other thing to point out as well is with the Tesco ones, their eggs are their own. It's Tesco's eggs, whereas these, this one from Sainsbury's is made by Buttermilk Artisan Confectionery, established Padstow in 1964. So oh, it smells gorgeous. Oh, it does actually. Yeah, it smells. It smells very milk chocolatey, very Easter eggy. Very nostalgic, really nostalgic. Mm. Easter egg made from an alternative milk chocolate with honeycomb pieces decorated with a white chocolate alternative. We're introducing a delicious chocolate alternative egg to our collection, free from dairy, gluten and wheat, so everyone can enjoy a treat this Easter. It's very heavy, what's the weight? Uh, the weight is 185 grams. It, feel, it feels quite heavy, the smell is very strong, I smell that from here. Going back, that, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's very, very, very strong. Going back to what you were saying before, obviously weight is something that I we He's mentioned obsessed with weight before. Weight versus like, money. Right, how much is that? How many grams is it? And how much is that one? And how many grams is that? I'll get that one then. There's more grams. <laughs> it's a good thing though, you know that kind of because he does that. I don't. I'm just like, uh, oh look, that's an offer. Ah, right, but how many grams is it? So what I was gonna say is. I suspect because of the weight that the chocolate is thicker and also because it doesn't come with anything else, the chocolate is thicker. That'll do. A reasonable crack. Mm-hmm. No, it's very, it's really thin. It's, 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 it's really very, very thin. Mm. Oh, okay. Nice. You're getting the honeycomb. I'm doing the suck test. I always do first. Mm. Not quite as sweet as the previous one. But then the honeycomb comes through. Where's this honeycomb you're talking about? Mm. Yeah. Presumably the honeycomb is in the chocolate mixture as they're making it. Well, so I can see a bit there now. There yeah. Let's have another tiny little piece. Hmm. Now, when you get a bit with the honeycomb in, that's gorgeous. But most of the egg, most of the egg, this kind of part here can compete can for feet. This part is very thin. It only gets thicker towards the edges, mm. which is where the honeycomb pieces are. Yeah. 
Let me see if I can, because there's a nice little, see that, mm -hmm. the thickness there. Mm. So, gorgeous. Yes, it's the most expensive in the range, but I think, to be honest, what you're also, and it's worth referencing this, you're kind of paying for the personal touch as well. You're paying a little bit, I suppose, for some really nice packaging. Um, you've got a little personal touch on the back of the packaging uh, with this sort of family aspect to the company, which is quite nice. It's got the personal touch, but maybe I'm just a sucker for stuff like that. Uh, David and Tracy kiss on the back, which is a nice touch. Nice and resealable. Yeah. But I suppose they all are, aren't they? So, yeah, another exceptional egg there. Pretty, uh, pretty nice. Yeah, yeah. I, I, from me personally, I would give that a three and a half. Because it, it, it didn't have as good a mouthfeel as the previous egg. To me, it didn't have... The previous egg had the slight edge on flavour and texture and thickness. Yeah, I think that's fair. And included things. And I think, as Paul said um, with the other egg previously, I think we both lean a little bit more towards the darker chocolate rather than the milk chocolate. Yeah, and yet three of these eggs that we're trying out today are kind of milk chocolate alternative eggs, and only one is a dark uh, Belgian chocolate. Uh, on to the next one. Mm. Ah. <sighs> Test, test three of four. I didn't call it test test before, did I? What did I say? I Something know. three of four, anyway. Um, if you noticed a slight change in sound in that second segment, that was because we've got these new microphones. Oh, did you noticed? Do you see? Uh, we're trying to improve our sound, but Jason forgot to plug them in in the second segment. So if there's a definite dip there, now you know why, but we just checked it and you can hear us. So I'll fix it in post. Should be okay. <laughs> Uh, okay, moving on. Yeah, yeah, to yeah. The three of four. Okay, so the next one is uh, the Aldi. Yes. One uh, organic. Ex go on. What does it say? Extra. Easter collection. Easter collection. Mossa Roth, a pretty well established chocolate company. Oh, I didn't realise it was Mossa Roth. Yeah, Mossa Roth, uh, organic dark chocolate egg and hazelnut truffles. So the hazelnut truffles. And it's marked vegan on the front. Clearly marked vegan. And the hazelnut truffles are uh, allegedly a little bit like the Ferrero Rocher. Yeah, someone said that, haven't they? So we'll share one of them mm -hmm. and we'll try a bit of the egg. I'll let you unbox this one, our Karen. Yeah, I haven't done one yet, have you? You haven't. Okay. Similar setup, all very similar. Nothing majorly exciting going on here with the packaging. Very similar design, tried and tested. And there we go. The thing is, though, I mean, the reason we're doing this is if you've got, um, if you, if, if there are, you know, young youngsters in your family, we don't think that these are kind of out of who are vegan. We don't think that these are kind of uh, just for adults. No. Do you know what I mean? Although, you know, you might have kids that are way more into the kind of strawberry chocolate, and, and the, but that's there at Sainsbury's. Intense 65% organic dark chocolate egg with delicious organic hazelnut truffles. Oh, so we have got two dark chocolate eggs then, two milk chocolate alternatives, two dark. Didn't realise this one was dark. Mm-hmm. Nice. Oh, my God. Really? <laughs> Lovely. I think that smells gorgeous. Yeah. We do, we do both lean more towards the dark chocolate, don't we? Yeah, yeah, We yeah. do, we do. Do you want to? Yeah, we'll do, yeah. Oof. Hey, that's got some... T that's that's thick, that. I gave that a right wallop. There we go. Ooh. Mmm. Got to fish a bit out now. No, we should have had a nice big white plate. Why? So we need to get crumbs all over the place. Yeah, me. Mm. Oh, okay. This is different. Oh, it's dark chocolate. Mm. Yeah, but the first one we had was dark chocolate. The Tesco one was dark chocolate. This is definitely not as sweet, and I prefer that. It's not as sweet. 
We've had two milk chocolate alternatives ones so far, babes. No, the salted caramel is dark chocolate. Is it? I'm sure it's dark chocolate. I thought you said it was a milk chocolate alternative. Oh, no, yeah. F caramel flavoured milk free egg made from cacao, rice syrup, and rice flavour. Yeah. Oh, well, that's weird because it looks dark. No, it was definitely a milk chocolate alternative, right. as was the first one. This is a, a good quality dark chocolate. You really get that bitter cacao taste. Um, but with a really nice sugar layer as well. So it's it's not... It's The thing is, with dark chocolate, I always think you get what you want from it. It's sweet enough for everybody if, if, if they've got a good sweet palate. Um, but you get that nice bitter edge as well, you know. Are we trying the, the truffle? Yeah, I just wanted to just put it back in the box, so it's... Back in the box. Yeah, really, really nice. That for me so far, I think, you know what, I'll, be, I'll go with you on the three and a half with the last one. Um, that for me so far is my favourite egg. Right. Um, do, I, I like the salted caramel, but I prefer that one because it's, it's not as sweet. Right. And that's the big thing for me. Okay, so. I never get quite half with you, do I? That's bang on half. Hmm. I think that when people said that there were kind of Ferrero Rocher style sweets in the egg, it mm -hmm. was the wrapping. There's no textural element within the within the chocolate, is there? Like there is with a Ferrero Rocher. No, it's so a lovely it. chocolatey praline mm. with a nice so solid outer. Mm. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go at four with that one. That's a four thumbs. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Mm. Just enough coffee left for the last one as well. I'm pushing it, man. And I don't want another coffee at this because <sighs> I want to enjoy my tea tonight. Yeah, loving this, loving this so far. This We're is great. Vivera steak, chips, mush peas, and fried tomato. And if you've not tried a Vivera steak yet. Um, I'll whack the taste test link up there. Fair now. Oh. That's going to take me ages to look through this video as I'm uploading it to YouTube. Find that bit and put the link in. I might just put it at the end. Let's put the link in the description. Yeah, that's what people do these days. No, put the link in the description. I'm trying to help and, uh, people by just making it really easy. Uh, but it'd be a distraction anyway. They might want to watch the rest of the video and then they're like, oh, uh, do I click on the link? Exactly. What'll happen if I do? I've not done it. I've not, I've not done it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll see you for the final one, which is the Belgian dark chocolate from Tesco's. And we'll do that next time. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> no, uh, we've got a we've got a little bit of coffee left. It's a smidgen. Yeah, a real smidgen, and we're on the final egg, which is uh, Belgian dark chocolate Tesco's finest. Um, do you want to read out a bit of the... I will. The bump. I've got a sneaker suspicion this is going to be very nice. Yeah. Um, just as a point of reference, I could literally do this all day. I could sit all day and do this. I could do that with different things. I couldn't do, like, an all-day chocolate egg tasting because by about after number seven, I'd be like, somebody get me a pie. <laughs> <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. I do know where you're coming from. And I do have uh, ideas sometimes and then I end up regretting Wait. them. Yeah. 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 Belgian dark chocolate egg decorated with a chocolate flavoured drizzle with orange flavoured fondant filled dark oh, chocolate no. truffles and raspberry flavoured fondant filled dark chocolate truffles. So similar to the other Tesco one that we started right, with. Right, can we just lay um, our cards down on the table now because we're friends, aren't we? Yeah? Yeah? We love you, you love us, we're all right. We can share stuff. There's not a problem. There's not an issue. A couple of close-ups there would be cool. Um, I don't like chocolate orange. Said it. 
and I'm not a massive fan. I do not like chocolate orange. Never have, never will. If chocolate lime, chocolate lemon, I'm that kind of citrus fruit. I'm more, I'm more tang than sweet. Yeah, that's fair play. Fair play to you. So I'm glad we've cleared that one up. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not going to enjoy... The fondant ones. No. The, I think, yeah, the chocolates. So, very similar to before. Thing is, you can't, you don't know which one's the orange ones. Yes, yes, well, you've got to smell them. Yeah. Um, let's smell test. Oh, that smells beautiful. Is it, it's probably just because you've been talking, referencing orange. Mm. I now feel as though I'm, I'm like, the, or, the orange has impregnated the chocolate in the egg. I'm going to swap that over. Oh, nice, yeah. So that the pattern side is on view. There's the chocolate fondant. Mm -hmm. Crack test, promise. Well, you've got a bit of chocolate on your nose. I haven't. Yeah, right on the tip of your nose there. How awful. Just put that there for later. We'll call him Barry. <laughs> um, I'm actually going to turn the egg back. Sorry, it's tickled me that. Um, I'm going to turn the egg back over. Just check Barry's okay. <laughs> I'm going to turn the egg back over because it's going to, if I crack it like that, all of this lovely piping work over the top, um, which I suspect has probably been done by a very clever machine. Um, or oh, a little old lady called Margaret. Possibly. Oh, I'd it's going to go everywhere. I'd rather that. Fall. A little old lady called Margaret. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to turn it over so the piping doesn't go everywhere. Final crack taste test. Did you... You've ruined everything. I wanted to give it a bit of gusto. And it worked. I'm pleased about that. I'm not. I can have a nice big piece now to finish off with. Hmm. See, with a bigger piece as well, you can actually do a double crack test because you can then get the... The bite test in your mouth with a bigger piece. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Again, very, very good quality dark chocolate. Mm. Uh, lovely mouthfeel. Beautiful melt point. Strong, really strong cacao flavour. That bitter, beautiful yeah. cacao flavour. Just enough sugar to make that Sorry, I'm just my OCD's getting in. Um, just enough sugar to make that, you know, not too bitter. Delicious. Really nice. Yeah. I'm very worried about these. Love that. Mm, you can't tell from smell what's what. I'm well up for the idea of having a raspberry one. Mm. I wonder if they're the raspberry ones with the dark Let chocolate smell. piping. That doesn't smell like orange to me, that one. Ah, uh, it's, hard, it's hard to tell, isn't it? Hard to tell. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Why don't you just hum the tune to Quantum Leap? I don't know. That, oh. was, that was raspberry and it was delicious. That's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. That is gorgeous. I think it's... I think it's the connection. I think it's Easter eggs take me back to being a kid. And when I was a kid I watched Quantum Leap. I remember there's some kind of Weird psychological link there. Who knows? We are talking about weird psychological links in um, Tesco's earlier, weren't we? Mm. So, what do we think of that? Um, yeah, top notch. So, you can't really go wrong with the uh, the, t the two Tesco eggs, uh, five or a pop. Both come in with, the, with five chocolates in the bottom. Both at five pounds reduced from six pound fifty. Nice thick egg, plenty of chocolate, really nice taste, and you've got the uh, the option of the two different ones at the same price. Really good. Yeah, the one from Sainsbury's with the honeycomb. Um, some people will love that. That I mean, I love honeycomb. Mm. I kind of miss crunches and you know that kind of thing. Um, but it was just a, a little bit thin 
on the outer hemispheres, shall we say. The edges were quite delicious. Mm. Are you bringing them all back up now? Yeah, just to kind of finish Literally off. my last mouthful of coffee. Same. Mm. There we go. Well, that was a very strange <clears throat> lunch. But I'm glad we've done it because I wouldn't want you wasting your money. And to be honest with you, if you buy any of these, you're not going to be wasting a penny. Um, because they're all good in their own right. And of course, we can only talk about the ones that we prefer. Can't Absolutely. We? Uh, and to be really honest with you, I'm going to say that my two favourites <clears throat> are for the milk chocolate alternative one, the salted caramel. Um, which is beautiful, but it's a, it's a it's a allowed to melt chocolate for me to get all the flavour, the caramel and the salt together. Beautiful, and um, the last one, the Belgian dark chocolate. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think I'd I'd probably agree. To yeah. be honest, well yeah. Well done, Tesco's. Really good. Uh, I suppose the other thing to bear in mind as well, I think, I can't remember, they don't all say it on it, but one of them, I think it might have been this one, um, I think it said uh, something about don't, oh, do not refrigerate. Now, here's the thing when it comes to chocolate, and you'll back me up on this one, we quite like refrigerated chocolate. So, you know, do keep that in mind. If you prefer something to have uh, with an Easter egg, a bit more of a crack and a bit more of a bite to it, he, I'll tell you what he's talking about. We have, from Tesco's, uh, the dark chocolate digestives and the um, wafer thin mints. Mm, wafer you know, thin. the after dinner mints. Um, and we keep both of them in the fridge. But if we buy a Vigo bar... Mm -hmm. Oh no, we still start yeah, doing that. Yeah, yeah I was waiting doing? for you to go there with that. <laughs> yeah, that was yeah. Like, it's been long enough. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Um, so the Vigo bar goes in the fridge. Pretty consistently, the Tesco's dark chocolate digestives do, and the Tesco's mints, uh, which are exceptional, by the way. Give them a try if you haven't. Uh, so, yeah, you could do the same with your eggs. I don't know. It's up to you. They're your eggs. It was the Vigo spread that we found was better out of the fridge. Makes sense. Yeah. yeah. We had it with those spiced biscuits from little mm -hmm. Instagram post, and we? we were like, oh, my God, it's a revelation. We did do that. Kind of was. Yeah. Bit of a revelation. So, let us know, uh, as Paul asked before, let us know what you think about the uh, spicy noodle challenge. And if you would like to see us do that. Yeah. Uh, let us know what you thought of this Easter egg challenge. Let us know what you think about the fact that Bill and Ted are making a third movie. You know what I say at the end of all our videos? Where do you think I get it from? It's one of the most beautiful sayings in the world. And uh, speaking of which... We love you. Love you, mister. Love you. Mm. Love doing these videos. They're fun times. Uh, we'll see you on the next one. Please be excellent to each other. <laughs> aye, aye, if you're watching this, you've got to the end of our video. So well done for that. And we appreciate you watching. We'd love it if you liked this video, shared it with your friends and family, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell for notifications. And that way you find out about all our future videos. And there's a lot coming, honey, let me tell you. <laughs>